Okay. With the Fey Hammer Titan event starting in one zero now, it says that it shows up, or it shows up right here, that it's going to end in one week, six days, so two weeks. So this is the event here, and I wanted to go ahead and take a look. So yes, it is five stars, and we even get the Odin Avatar, which is like the biggest thing here. But let's go ahead and take a look at everything. So we get the standard rewards around here. The first soul stone, or the first soul is going to be at 100. The next one is going to be at 300. The one after that is going to be at three, um, at 600. Then you're looking for the four star, which is what you really want to be looking to uh, really get. Like if, if you can, go for the four star because that's going to be like the hugest jump, the biggest boost. That's going to be at a thousand. And then five stars to complete it is going to be 1500 to get the five star split soul for Thor. And again, I, I've talked about whether or not this is something that you, sh that you should go for. It's up to you, honestly. I think it's a good idea. I wouldn't completely write this off as a trash event, a trash Titan event. Um, of course, it's kind of scummy, you know, Polarium Tactics and whatever. They, they want you to pay and use your credit card to complete the events and everything. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Just the game. Don't take it too seriously. Don't take any of this too seriously. In fact, don't even take what I'm saying seriously. I'm just saying like, hey, if you want to do it, I think it's a good idea. If you got the resources, go ahead and do it. I don't necessarily think you should spend the money, but I like the resources the resources that I'm seeing, the prizes that you get incrementally, like mortal soul coins. Yeah, you know, these are kind of like beginner, beginner rewards, right? Most of you guys are going to get this very easily, just logging in every day. Milestone two, Polarium points here. Of course, Polarium points for the Searsha that nobody's going to use. Ancient Shard here, four-star chicken, again, for the beginners, mid-gamers, three-star souls, right around here, right? So you see we get a six-star epic chaos or the immortal soul stones. Right around here is where things are going to start to kick up, and you're probably going to feel a little bit of resistance. But again, if you're logging in every day and you're doing events, not like really pushing to win every single event and do every single event, like you'll you'll be fine, I think getting the three star thing like you're going to get this relatively easy right but you're going to start to feel some resistance around here milestone four this is where i think that most of you guys won't passively just be able to get these right so what i've read what i've seen people say in reference to other past titan events is this if you skip all the summon events that are about to happen and you can see that in 26 27 minutes a summon rush is about to happen we'll see what this is um and you just do the events if you skip all the summit events and you just do the regular events and tournaments that are not summit events you're going to have a decent shot a pretty good shot actually of getting the four star soul pushing into the fifth star the five stars that's where it's kind of like, all right, you, you need to summon. You're probably going to have to do an event or two, depending. We don't know yet what exactly the events are. In fact, if I look at the calendar here for Raid, Shadow Legends, um, let me see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Asgard, Fae Titan Hammer event. Let me see if anything shows up here. Shows Dungeon Divers, but I think this is part of the... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so the current... The current hammer events that are happening. Oh, it shows up right here. Okay. So Thor's fusion is ending right here. The Titan event. Odin's trial. So the Odin dungeon is going to have hammer points because you can see hammer points right here. The summon rush, you're going to have champion fragments. Oh, that's for the Thor fusion. Artifact enhancement is going to have hammer points. Dungeon divers, hammer points. Champion training, hammer points. These are the events that are going to happen that are going to have the points. Champion chase, that's a big one. This one will actually dictate how many people are going to go about... Wait a minute. Champion chase starts Friday. Is that tomorrow? Wait, what day is today? No, it starts Friday, the 20th. When does, when does, hold on, did I, 
Oh, the fusion starts in two days. Oh, so no, I don't think it's going to line up with Champion Chase. This would have been cool. I was holding on to Thor to see if that if uh, to see if it was going to line up with it, but today is the 17th, 18th, 19th, so I think this ends right when Champion Chase starts. So I think that's that's what that is. But yeah, um there's going to be hammer points for Champion Chase, so again, if you have anybody right here that you've been waiting to pull from like Doom Tower, um that would probably be the best time to go ahead and do that. If you have Remnant Shards, definitely do that. The other thing is if you have these farmable rares, you can get them and fuse them into just this year. You could, if you have these rares sitting on the side, you can fuse them into Relic Keeper, who, you know, doesn't really matter, but the point is you get points for Champion Chase because Champion Chase, all they care about is where you're getting champions from, not what exactly you get. I mean, yes, what you get matters, but it's not dependent on shards. Broadma, same thing. You can farm these guys, summon them, and then fuse them into these guys, fuse them into Broadma, easy points. Not easy points, but like it's a free to play, free to pay play, right? And let's see what else we got. So we have Classic Arena and we've got Dungeon, oh, Dragon. We've got Dragon Tournament. And then we have the classic arena takedown and then fire knight we got hammer points there and that goes as far as sunday now we don't see take on event theme bosses earn great rewards loki chase we don't see anything else right now so the fur the furthest that we can go is actually um this sunday where we see all the events so that that's good to know um and then heading back over here, uh, let's see. We have haste glyphs. Those speed glyphs are always good to get. Chaos dust is always good to get as well, since the drop rates for these chaos dusts are absolute crap. Immortal soul stones, huge. <laughs> Imagine if you get the uh, if you summon if you get this and you summon like a five or a six star Thor, uh, six star legendary chaos ore, great. Legendary tome, always gonna take that. Then going into the fifth avatar, at least even if you didn't care about doing anything like if you, if you didn't care about the the thor or let me, let me speak for myself even if this was a shit champion even if this was a crap champion i'm such an avatar whore that i would still go for this avatar because this is pretty cool like i think this is awesome i'm definitely gonna get that i mean there was no doubt in my mind that i was gonna get the five star souls but you get mythical tomes six star mythical chaos ores that's huge a primal shard chaos powder dust but yeah uh, we'll see. This Summon Rush is not the Champion Chase event. Summon Rush, this is going to be dependent on the um, the type of shards that you pull. So you get 500 shards, or you get 500 points from Sacreds. You get, I think, 200 from Primals. I think it's 120 from Voids. And sometimes they do double point events. I don't know if they're going to do it this time, but I, I doubt they're going to do it this time. But it's 20 points for Ancients and then one point for Mystery Shards. So that's the breakdown for those.